Hello, I'm Tyler, lead developer at Falcon Development. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at gathering and gardening in Cattail's Wildwood story. The Wildwood is a diverse region that plays host to a wide variety of environments where different plants will grow and thrive in different seasons. As you explore the area around your new home, you'll encounter plenty of potent herbs and flowers that you'll want to be sure to collect during your travels. Foraging for fresh herbs is a great way to earn experience points, and learning the properties of various plants will help you to use them in beneficial ways. Each herb serves a purpose. Some can be used to tend to your wounds or block the effects of toxins. Others can be applied to aid you in battle or increase your movement speed. Every herb from the first game is back, alongside several new plants for you to harvest. Peppermint will help mask your scent and make it easier to catch prey. Thistle can be used to increase your swimming ability for a short time. Foxglove can be applied to your claws to increase your attack damage. Daisies are beautiful flowers that may be appreciated by some, but be careful not to ingest any of this toxic bloom or you may become confused. Of course, catnip is back, but it's best to resist the temptation to eat it and instead bring it back to town to sell or give out as a well-beloved gift. New herbs grow every day in the wild, and their locations will be randomized, so you'll need to scout out the entire area if you want to find them all. In the fall, you might find mushrooms sprouting up around the wildwood. White buttons, portobellos, coprinus, morals, and amanitas are all hiding on the forest floor for a lucky cat to find. Several herbs are now ranked, and their quality is indicated by the number of stars that appears next to their name. One and two star herbs can be discovered growing in the wilderness, but the best way to acquire three star herbs is to grow them in a controlled environment. Better crops have more potent effects when they are used, and are generally more valuable and desired by other cats. Once you've recruited Alabaster to join your colony, you will unlock the garden, a plot of land set aside for growing fresh herbs. Learn all about the delicate art of taking care of your garden from this plant-loving cat. Purchase seed recipes from Alabaster's gardening supply shop, then use the recipes to turn existing herbs into seeds to sow in the garden. The higher quality the herb used to create the seeds, the more seeds it will yield. Plant the seeds in the garden and watch them grow over time. Any herb may be grown in any season in a well-tended garden. Visit daily to clear weeds and sprinkle some plant food mix on each of your crops to ensure the highest quality results. With enough muse, you can upgrade your garden to increase the number of spaces available for crops. When it's time to harvest, you can sell what you've reaped for some income, give out your herbs as gifts, or keep them around to use later. That's all for this episode. I hope you'll join me next week for another behind the scenes look at Cattail's Wildwood Story. If you haven't already done so, please follow our campaign on Kickstarter and wishlist the game on Steam. Until next time, thank you for watching.